So let's continue with the cash flow statement. We understood cash flow from the operating activities line by line. And now we come to the cash flow from investing activities. As I explained to you a little while ago, uh, investing activities ka matlab kya hai? Buying the assets or sometimes selling the assets. So you don't sell the assets every now and then, but once in a while some used asset, you may decide to sell it off. So normally in cash flow from the investing activities will, will always be negative. All of you, very clear. So cash flow normally from the investing activities will always be negative. And why it will always be negative? Because you are buying the assets. So when you are buying the assets, you are using cash for buying those assets. That means the cash is going out of the business. Once in a while it can happen, some old asset, you decide to sell it off. Uh, then you will get cash coming in also on account of investing. Or sometime it can happen that you bought a land sometime back with an intent to build a plant out there. But today because of the market conditions and your own cash flow, uh, you decided to sell that land. So uh, now if you sell that land, obviously it is going to give you cash. So there may be cash inflow also on account of the investing uh, uh, investing activities. So uh, as you can see here on your screen, fixed assets a figure is minus 205. That means you have bought assets worth 205 lakhs in this year that is 2021. And no other non-current assets, the figure is positive. That means some assets, some non-current assets you have sold uh, worth 20 lakh and that is why you have got money coming into your business. So that is your cash uh, for, uh, from investing activities and the total you can see is minus 185. That means on the whole uh, you have got 185 lakhs used for for investing activities. You have assets for them, you have net basis for 185 ka outflow. Ho gaya. So that is your cash flow from the investing activities. And now we come to the cash flow from the financing activities. So now what does it mean? Uh, and let's see it. So this is your cash flow from the financing activities. Short term debt. So you got some loan of 49 lakh short term loan. So you can see this figure is positive. So that means money has come in. Uh, long term debt from FIs, long term debt from the financial institutions. Unko apne repay kar diya. So you had taken loans earlier. And now you have repaid that loan of 121 lakh. So that is why this figure is coming as minus. That means it's an outflow. Other long term liabilities, you have issued debentures. So debenture is a debt instrument. Aapne debenture issue kip and you got 34 lakhs coming in. So 34 lakhs aapne raise kip by issuing debentures. So it's an inflow. And then you pay the dividend. So aapne dividend pay kia. And remember in India, if a company pays dividend, they also have to pay dividend distribution tax. So that is dividend plus distribution tax minus 220. That means you have paid 220 lakh worth of money as dividend to the shareholders. So ye sara aapka financing activities is coming minus 356. So net, flow, net cash flow from the financing activity is coming minus uh, 356. So uh, ab pura jav, ab total karenge, total of the cash flow, cash flow from the uh, operating activities, cash flow from the investing activities, and cash flow from the financing activities. Tino ka total karenge, so you will get a surplus of 11. So that means a net net you have generated cash this year. And uh, your opening balance, as you can see, this was the closing balance last year. So this becomes your opening balance, which is 72. And total of these two is 83 lakhs. That is your closing balance. So friend, this is your cash flow from cash flow statement. Now let us understand uh, the the cardinal principles of cash flow statement. So agar aap, if, you are, if you are analyzing the cash flow statement uh, of any company uh, for that matter, it may be company of your vendor, it may be uh, some company that you want to make uh, investment uh, or uh, you want to deal with some company. So uh, how to evaluate, how to evaluate whether this uh, cash flow is good or not good this question is open to all of you and you have to give me the answer ki agar aapko ek company ka cash flow statement evaluate karna hai what are the things that you would look at over to all of you